So this is a picture basically of uh, my warping board. Um, I got it originally when I got my uh, my loom basically uh, with the fanny and you know it's one of those necessary things that you need to have when you actually have a, um, a loom and you'd like to weave. This one because it was handmade uh, has its advantages and disadvantages there and you can see that right now it needs to be repaired. Three of the dowels kind of are are missing there right on the um, on the left hand side there. So let's go through some of the advantages and disadvantages that uh, these looms can have because I did manage to actually uh, rent from my guild a different type of loom uh, which uh, allowed me to understand you know certain perks depending on what kind of loom you happen to have. So as you can see there, I rented a loom actually from uh, Leclerc uh, from my guild and uh, I was quite actually really impressed with this particular loom. Um, you can see it's missing a whole bunch of dowels, but they're dowels that I don't need. They're actually, you insert them and you take them out as needed, which I really, really like. Uh, you'll notice that I have a little bit of a um, different way of putting up my... Uh, my warping board, I've got a Kalax right here. I have some, uh, you can see some clamps. Uh, basically, if you can see there, I have clamps that actually allow the uh, warping board basically to sit on both of the clamps. But again, they can slide off, so I'm tying it down. And in this case here, uh, this one is slightly different than the one that I usually use. So I ended up uh, using some painter's tape to kind of secure it so it wouldn't flop uh, all over the place because it is so light. But um, I really like this uh, Leclerc loom because of the fact that it can actually be taken apart, whereas the one that I've got isn't. And the fact that it's so much lighter is uh, much easier <laughs> to be able to deal with. But also, if you take a look here in the corners, all right, so the, the actual pieces of wood do come apart if I wanted to take them apart and, and then be able to store them, like, you know, in a closet instead of having to... Um, you know, to put them, uh, you know, somewhere against a wall or hang it on a wall if I didn't ha uh, have the space, which I don't necessarily have the space. The one that I've got, uh, as you saw previously, the dowels don't come out. So it is a bulkier, uh, heavier and bulkier um, uh, loom th than what I initially have here. So uh, definitely, you know, down the road, I would love to maybe get one of these Leclerc looms. Uh, I have no problems with the quality. It's just the cost at this point. Warping boards are not... Uh, a particularly cheap investment, uh, even though they are quite um, quite a worthwhile investment because you are obviously using them for uh, for various ones. So let's just take a quick peek again. So the advantage of the one that I have, obviously I got it with my loom, so I guess you could say in a sense it was free. But if you take a look at the actual construction here, it is actually nailed securely, right? And the dowels are put in. They were actually glued in. And uh, as you can see, basically three of them have kind of fallen out. So my husband is going to uh, secure them back in uh, for me. The other problem is because of the weight of it, it is, uh, to me, it's, you know, it's heavy to lift for me. Um, I did see an idea, which I really want to try out, um, where somebody put actually over a door um, some, uh, the wreath hooks, the adjustable wreath hooks, and to be able to um, hang the warping board from there. And I thought that's an excellent idea because, again, the Kalox is not, you know, the, the, uh, the greatest solution for myself. So if I can just hang it over a door, take it, you know, down from the door after I'm done with it, this, uh, this would be a great idea. So I hope those uh, tips help and uh, allows you to figure out what kind of warping board you should get. And uh, the size that I have is for 13 yards. They obviously have smaller ones and much larger ones as well. Um, I can only speak to the one that I have right here. And the most recent one that I've borrowed basically from uh, the Guild by Leclerc, which I'm very happy with Leclerc as well. But I'm sure there's other companies that have uh, that sell uh, warping boards. So it'd be interesting to, to see what the advantages and disadvantages are, would be uh, between companies. Hope that helps and have a great day.